Hello and welcome to a game between Control and Mana. Control will be playing as the red turn player at the lower left hand corner, whereas Mana will be playing as the blue Protoss player at the upper right hand corner. This is GG Face and the map is going to be Zelnaga Caverns. And both these players are opening very, very cool and normally as they might cross paths here as one SCV is leaving and the probe is entering the base of the Terran player. Control is not in control and in control is a Protoss player, I believe, and it looks like that probe will not be able to do too much harassment against that SCV as that SCV was able to just finish off the barracks. And there is one probe hanging out around the mineral line, whereas there's one SCV going into the base of Mana at this moment. Mana has nothing but a gateway, no cyber. Ooh, the cyber core just came online. He does have three probes on the gas. And if we take a look inside the base of Control, Control does have one refinery, one barracks with just one marine. Not making additional barracks or factories just yet. This is uh, pretty strange for anybody who is scouting his base because he only has one building. Usually you would have your second building out. And it's also strange that Marine is not chasing the probe around. The probe is going to dance around the back of the mineral line as there is going to be one factory constructed at the upper center part of the map. And it looks like that barracks will be floated off a little bit, and he is going to probably put a reactor or something on it. I don't understand why he would float. He's floating it off once again. He is going to be putting down a reactor next to it, and there is a factory being constructed here on the side. I think Mana is a little bit suspicious because he didn't see too much inside the base. He His vision does show that there's one barracks. Usually at this stage of the game, there should be more than one barracks because he does have the cyber core along with the sentry coming out. There is one zealot already running around the edges of his base and the one probe that was scouting inside the base of control is going to go around the outer edge. He might catch a glimpse of this factory. Oh no, the factory does lift off and the SCV is going to go back. There is going to be a bunker being constructed at the top of the ramp for the Terran player control and I think he will catch a glimpse of it here there is a factory floating in and a starport being constructed for control at this moment so Mana knows that there is a factory coming in he is going to open with a robotics facility before the second gateway so this is a little bit ambitious and his warp gate's not even done but even if it's complete it's not gonna help him too much as he only does have one gateway but I guess that was acceptable because his opponent did not build uh, additional buildings as quickly so this is a little bit of a weird game it seems and the SCV ooh the marine is actually scouting around the edges of the map for any hidden pylons and if we take a look at the vision for the player control he sees one gateway the second gateway he missed because he was flying around and the robotics facility he also sees so both player is not too well I mean Mana is not too well aware of what's going on inside the base of in control as there is going to be three barracks and one starboard. Two of those barracks will ooh, one barracks has tech lab, the other one has reactor. And the unit counting station will show that there's one stalker, one zealot, and one sentry, whereas the Terran player does have about six marines. He has four of them in a bunker in a defensive position. I'm not sure what he's really doing at this point because this is a pretty expensive build. I think he is getting a raven out along with these marines. Ravens are really really good with the point defense drone. You do want it early because that will give you a lot more energy and more energy means more point defense drones and more missiles being shot down for those stalkers. And the marines are moving to the side. There's an observer coming in. I think he should catch a glimpse of this as both players are looking on this portion of the map or maybe not Ooh, he is looking. He should have seen it, I think. The Marines were moving directly underneath the Observer, and the Raven comes out, and the Observers are going to get shot at. The Observer is flying over the Command Center, which will block the Marines slightly, and he is going to run off to the side. Army count is at 50 versus 39 advantage for the Protoss player, as he has grabbed his natural expansion, and the Observer is going to move back and forth, but there's a Raven directly tailing it, so he's not going to be able to do too much. Two dropships coming out, Mana's next is, is about 70 or so percent complete, and he has nobody in the bunkers yet. All Marines at this moment, really strange build. 11 Marines, one Raven versus uh, one Observer, <laughs> and there is going to be some Zealots and Sentries and Stalkers as well. Pretty nice mix for Mana, and a lot of his units are going to get move over to the natural expansion where he is going to farm additional minerals, mine additional minerals, I mean, and there's going to be the stem along with the combat shield. There's two tech labs, and I think that is, ooh, the Starport actually switched off to the reactor that allowing him to build those medivacs double time, which is a great idea. And additional star 
Additional gateway coming online along with one Immortal for our hero Mana and Control is still inside his base. He still has not yet managed to take down this Observer and he does have a l massive amount of Marines. And SCV was taken down there because Mana did see Control coming on the Watchtowers and SCV did go down. And the army size is at 71 versus 65 at this moment. But of course, there are more probes than there are SCV, so it's about pretty much even. And I think the first time I watched this replay, I could have swore he says, Observer, leave! <laughs> Almost like he wanted the Observer to be banned from the game. But it's actually a guy named Revolver, and now they're resuming the game. There is going to be some anger as the Observer is, I mean not the Observer, the Revolver is not watching. The Revolver that is an Observer in the game, not the Observer, the unit that is flying around for the Protoss player, is still hiding at the natural expansion and stuff. And he says, he's your friend for God's sakes, which reminds me of a time when my friend says, she's your friend. And then I tell him, just because she's my friend doesn't mean I will ask her out for you. Oh, good old times of chasing skirts at junior high. And we see a lot of very good forest fields. There is a point defense drone and there is a focus firing on the Marines. The point defense drone has run out of its energy. And I think he might want to pull some of those probes off to help here as a lot of those forest fields are not actually doing too much as the Marines actually walked around them or they got dropped around it. And he is losing a lot of his marines. The medevacs are alive, however. Now he's in full retreat. And he's trying to snipe away at this medevac. He's trying to save the medevac. He will be able to save the medevac. He did sacrifice those three marines for a medevac, which is a great trade, I think. Unless he won't be able to save. Ooh, two final shots from the stalkers will take down the medevac. And there is going to be a really tiny army for the Terran player at the moment because he does not yet have an expansion. And the observer is still hanging around. And it looks like he will scout exactly what his opponent has, which is about 8 Marines and 4 Medivacs and Revolver leave the game. And there's a huge army for the Protoss player. The army size is at 73 versus 59. A good portion of that is probes or SCVs, and that is a super saturation of those SCVs on that mineral line. He's not going to get too much income from that as the Protoss player does have an edge in terms of the mineral income. It looks like he will take down this gold expansion. I mean the gold destructible rocks for the gold expansion. There is one observer inside. I don't think he would be building another raven as he is building another raven. That is really strange. I think he should switch to maybe some marauders as he does have a lot of gas. This I don't understand. He has 600 gas just sitting there and he's not making marauders which would be great against the stalkers and the mortals. Once they deplete the shield, the shield part is going to be better for the marines to take down, of course. And they stem and they run closer and they do take down the observer there. And these marines are getting healed up at the moment. No upgrades for the Terran player and no upgrades for the Protoss player. Both these players are building up a rather sizable army. Now the Terran player is at 75, whereas the Protoss player is at 98. And the factory is still at the upper right hand corner of the map. More more and more probes are being produced. I think he should move some of the probes as he's doing now. Wow, this guy just reads my mind as if he is a really good player. And he is. Control is going to be flying down one medevac to the right-hand side. And there's additional marines coming out. And it looks like he will be expanded. I think the Protoss player does know he has an advantage. He might be pressing forward here or possibly not. He does have, it looks like, three gateways and one robotics facility along with a robotics bay researching the thermal lance upgrade for the Colossus, which makes it really, really useful because that increases the range by a tremendous amount. There's going to be a third gas being opened up for the Terran player as he's going to drop here. He's not dropping. There's a pylon over there, and I think he's deciding if he wants to drop. I think he's waiting for another medevac that's going going to come up on the right hand, I mean on the left hand side simultaneously, and these marines are being dropped, they should probably pick it up and run, he does pick up all the marines, nobody is hurt, and the medevac will survive, ooh, very very close there, 41 HP, and it looks like these marines are going to be working on the gold rocks, and the medevac is going to drop on the side here behind this bush, so he can't really have vision or see it coming, and the medevac is going to come into the main as well, and it looks like he will come into the main and drop on the side here as well, and the Protoss Force is moving at the middle, and he's going to come in here, he's going to get some probe kills at the natural expansion, the Protoss Army is coming back, another drop is occurring inside the base, he's trying to take down Nexus, won't be able to do too much there, as the Nexus is alright, and the medevac did get taken down there, and these marines are stuck they did manage to take down some of those probes and actually force him to micro and may have bought him some time that he needed to build up an army but there is one medevac in the back with eight marines and one stalker is being warped in he might be able to take it down and medevac is going to just sit there that is a interesting choice of running away 
and the army sizes at 114 versus 97. The numbers are keep on changing. And this is a lot of marines. There looks like to be exactly 27 marines and 2 marauders. That is a lot of marines. And the marines do die very quickly to the zoot zoot of the colossus. And that is my imitation of the thermal lance. Not very good. And we will see an engagement here as they are going to start slicing and dicing these marines. Marines are trying to get in a better position to start shooting the uh, stalkers individually it looks like and one colossus gets taken down immediately by those vikings another viking still working on the colossus colossus is not falling back and he does fall back a little bit which brings the vikings forward and the viking were able to take down one of the colossus but not the second one and the marines i mean the scvs are coming and <laughs> the colossus is retreating away from the scvs the scvs are trying to kill off the colossus and the stalkers are trying to protect the Colossus, but the SCV will get taken down by the Colossus. 19 kills on that Colossus. That is a lot. Good number of kills and army size is at 84 versus 42. About doubled army size and Mana is going to push in here and he is going to take down these forces and the Colossus is going to go down to the focus firing of the Marines and Marauders, but I think at this point he is buried and he is going to GG out of it. Hope you guys enjoy that game and I will see you guys at the next game and please do subscribe to me at youtube.com slash GG your face and I think Control is trying to do like a Jedi mind trick. He says GG expecting you to say GG and leave the game but Mana did not. Uh, that was fun. Okay, see you guys at game number two and there's a floating factory. Thank you.